So today I thought we'd talk about cables. So here we've got uh, type 1 to type 2. There's two cables, they're very similar, they look similar, they've got the right connections on the end, but one is fundamentally different to the other and we're going to see why that is the case. So what we have here is two type 1 to type 2s. By that I mean the end that fits into the charger is called type 2 and the other end that fits into the vehicle is called type 1. This is also known as a J1772 and it fits the old leaf and also the ENV200 on the AC side, this socket here. And basically a lot of people think well I'll just get myself a cable. Well, there is some big differences between these two Type 1 to Type 2 cables. The biggest difference is the colour. There's an orange one and there's also one that's got a black cable. Now, one is rated at 16 amps, as seen by what is written on the label there, if you can see it, 16 amps. And this is an official Nissan one that's rated at 32 amps. There we go, 32 amps. So they do the same job, they put charge into the vehicle, but one puts it in faster than the other, and I'll explain why that is the case. So what I have here is a 24 kilowatt hour ENV200 with a 6.6 .6 onboard charger. So I'm going to plug it in. So we're plugged in. Now this is a, a Zappi uh, smart charger from My Energy. But I put this on the fast setting, so this is a seven kilowatt home charger, and as you can see, this Nissan uh, EMV 200 can take up to 6.6 .6 kilowatts. I've plugged in this orange cable, which is rated at 16 amps, and even though the charger is offering seven kilowatts, the car should be taking 6.6, .6, but it's only taking, as you can see it on the camera. 4.6 so it's being offered 7 kilowatts the van is asking for 6.6 .6, but it can only draw 4.5 because of this cable and I'm going to prove why that is the case because I'm now going to switch to the 32 amp cable so there we go I've now plugged in the 32 amp cable into the ENV and the van is now asking for 6.6 .6 kilowatts the charger is 7 kilowatts and it's giving 6.4 kilowatts. So there you go. It's proof that the type of cable you fit will have an effect on how much your EV will draw. Now this all does depend on whether the onboard charge of the vehicle is able to pull 6.6 .6 kilowatts. The standard ENV had a 3.3 kilowatt onboard charge, in which case it can only pull 3.3 kilowatts which means that other orange cable is perfectly adequate. But with a 6.6 .6 onboard charger, you need a cable that can take 6.6 .6 kilowatts. Use the orange cable that's only rated at 3.3 kilowatts. Even though it's been offered, even though the van is asking for 6 kilowatts, and the charger is a 7 kilowatt, it will only take around 4 kilowatts. So I hope that makes sense. If you want the maximum out of your charger and you've got a powerful onboard charger on your EV, please buy the proper cable that will avoid, avoid a lot of frustration. Hope this has helped and I'll see you next time.